Hello and welcome to Rust A Noob's Guide Part 6 Explosive Weapons. In this episode I'm going to be exploring the difference between C4 and standard rockets fired from a rocket launcher. Also a number of other techniques that you can use to get rid of tool cupboards that are on the inside of a building. I'll get to that later though. First of all, I'm just going to show you the structures I've made. They're five one by ones, each with an armoured door. Two of them are made entirely out of armoured blocks, and the remaining three, which are the ones with the cupboards in, are the ones which are made of stone. The reason why I put the cupboards in the stone ones only was because you're more likely in Rust to come across a base that is large, made entirely of stone containing tool cupboards rather than one that is made entirely of um, armor but you know that depends on the server you're on this is obviously a vanilla server which I play on so that's most certainly the case so we're gonna start off with um, seeing how much damage one C4 can do to a door now it is two C4 for one door but I did want to show you exactly how much 1c4 does in damage which as you can see here is 440 damage so that's how much damage 1c4 placed directly on an object will get you. Different types of uh, wall and door are more resistant to certain types of damage but when it comes to c4 it's generally the same all the way across the board um, as you can see here there was no damage to the exterior framework or to the wall so we're now going to have a look and see what rockets do to the door so we're now going to go have a look and see how much damage one rocket did and that's 224 damage uh, per rocket aimed at the door so you're going to need four rockets to take out that door now your explosive cost is the only real cost to take into consideration when crafting a rocket or C4. Everything else is generally a byproduct that you'll have anyway while making um, your explosives. So we're going to ignore that and we're going to ignore the cost of constructing a rocket launcher just for the sake of, of this test. So that would mean you would need 40 explosives to take out a armoured door with 4 rockets opposed to 2C4 which will cost you 50 because it's 25 explosives per C4. Now also the rocket does do splash damage to the uh, door frame and sometimes if you're lucky and you hit it on the side it'll deal damage to the um, exterior walls. For this next test we're going to try and take out the tool cupboard from the outside without destroying the wall or the door. So I've shot one landmine that was the other side of this wall and it's dealt half the damage to the tool cupboard. So we know the explosion from the landmine can go through the wall so two landmines will definitely take out a tool cupboard. Now obviously if you don't have access to the tool cupboard you cannot place them within that radius. However, sometimes people do put landmines around where their tool cupboards are and I have encountered that myself on this server. So that's just a little tip. If you see a landmine, it's next to a one by one which you know is holding the tool cupboard, you can take it out. So I did realize that perhaps I should try it with a hand grenade because a couple of patches ago you could use the hand grenade um, to take out the tool cupboard through a wall. Unfortunately during this video I, I was struggling to keep the hand grenade in a specific slot, uh, spot without it rolling down the hill towards the ocean so I wasn't really able to get the explosion close enough to the wall to really have any serious effect but by the looks of it it didn't deal any damage to the wall so perhaps that's been patched out of the game so hand grenades are no longer a, a way that you can take out a tool cupboard through the wall so this now moves us on to the last one uh, we're going to try a rocket on this wall here and we're going to see how much damage that does now as you can see the rocket doesn't have an explosion that impacts all the way through 
I thought that was quite interesting considering the splash damage per rocket. And you might be wondering to yourself, what's the whole point of doing this? Well, under the new patch, you can only have one tool cupboard placed within a certain radius of another tool cupboard. So you can no longer stack three or four tool cupboards into one building. You'll either have to stack them outside the building in one by ones like this, or you will have to stack them like one per building which means quite often you'll come across buildings where the tool cupboard is close to an exterior wall. Now here you can see the detonation from 2C4 has taken out the exterior wall and along with it the tool cupboard. Now obviously no tool cupboard means you can build there. You can block up the front door, you can block them in, you can put a tool cupboard outside it, you can build a ladder up to the roof or into an open window. You can modify the building to make it easier and cheaper for you to raid. So now we're just going to see how many more rockets it takes to take down one wall. And I've lost count here, I think it's something like three or four. Um, but, you know, again, rockets are relatively cheap compared to the C4. Now, I go back to this one and I'm, I'm going to look for a bit of wall which hasn't really sustained much damage and I'm going to use one C4 on the wall because I wasn't sure whether or not one C4 would destroy the tool cupboard and um, as you can see it does. So you don't need to take more than one C4 for perhaps a small building now whereas before you would always need to take two to take down a wall. This is me just having fun by the way. I know it's going to take 3C4 by the maths we've already covered per damage but I, I just wanted to blow up a wall. You know, blowing up stuff is fun. Who doesn't like blowing shit up in, in Rust? I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I built it but whatever, I can blow it up. Thanks for watching the video and let us know if there's any other weapons you'd like me to cover.